Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on today's webinar. My name is George Gonzalez, and I am a customer service representative trainer here at Workforce Solution Borderplex. And today we'll be reviewing interview preparations with tips on face-to-face -face virtual interviews. Now, the, the following webinar will assist you with becoming more familiar with the process of face-to-face -face interviews versus virtual sessions. Now, our goal today is to ensure that your interview skills become more proficient and successful. Now, an interview can make or break an opportunity. To help you really prepare, we'll be giving you a mix of tips about body language and etiquette and how to answer common questions. When exactly does an interview start and how to deal with nerves? Now, dress for success. Now, let's ensure that your wardrobe on display is neat, clean, and pressed. Presentation is key and the first seven seconds, potential player views you are crucial. Now, these seven seconds allow the interviewer to make crucial judgments uh, such as likability and trustworthiness. Now, interviewing for a new job can be stressful, but deciding what to wear doesn't have to be. There are two types of attire appropriate for your job interview, business professional and business casual. There are standards for most employers. Uh, these two choices will impress your future employer while giving you the confidence you need to nail your interview. Now, here's some information regarding the dress for success for men. And as you can see, it's gonna be, you wanna make sure you have a nice dress shirt, suit jacket, tie, suit pants, and dress shoes. And again, they must be clean and pressed. Now, dress for success for women, clean and professional hairstyle, sparse makeup, long sleeve shirt, suit, little or no jewelry, knee length skirt, a neutral color stockings, and conservative shoes. And of course, mouth to no fragrance. Now, beginning an interview. So you wanna use the interviewer's name. You also wanna make, maintain eye contact. You wanna smile, shake hands, and introduce yourself. An example is, hello, Mr. Stevenson, thank you for taking the time to speak with me regarding the position available. Know your position you are seeking and offer your application resume. You, you wanna, of course, make sure you leave your phone in your vehicle or in your purse on silent mode. So what is the percent of hiring managers and recruiters who use video interviews as a hiring process? The answer is 60% of hiring managers and recruiters use video interviews as a hiring process. So that's quite a bit. Now, we do have some virtual interview tips here. You wanna make sure you pick the location, nice, quiet area, we can go ahead and conduct your interview. Uh, test your equipment, make sure your Wi-Fi, your system, your laptop, your tablet is working correctly. You wanna make sure you have great lighting, good lighting, okay, so that the future potential player can see your gestures and expressions. Now, you wanna make sure your audio is working. Dress appropriately. Now, there are some top interview questions. Now, number one is tell me about yourself. So. When, it's, when I ask you to tell me about yourself, you want to give a snapshot of your work history. Uh, you also want to go ahead and make your mini stories achievement oriented. You also want to tell the employer what you know about this role and tell the employer why you're, you're the right fit for what they need. The next is why did you leave your last job? The general rule here is that you should always be leaving to move for, toward a better opportunity. You should never position it as fleeing from a bad opportunity. Your interviewer wants to feel like her company or his company is wooing you away from your current employer. Now, number three, why do you want to work for this company? That's gonna be a learn about your career goals and how this position fits into your plan. And also make sure that you are sincerely interested in the job and will be motivated to perform it if hired. Now, you also wanna find out, uh, find out what you know about this company industry position and if, you look, and if you took the time to research. Now, next question is what are your strengths? Now, here are some examples regarding that. You want ability to learn from mistakes, create, uh, creative thinking, task prioritization, discipline and determination, analytical thinking, communication skills, dedication and enthusiasm, and interpersonal skills and respectfulness. Now, you also wanna go ahead and talk about yourself. Now, you wanna stress your qualifications for the job opening. You also wanna re recount experience you've had, had which fit the job you were applying for. So of course, you wanna make it applicable to the job you were applying for as it states here. 
Now talk and think as much as possible about the future rather than the past. And indicate where possible examples of your stability, experience, and qualifications. Now you also want to meet them halfway. Try to learn ahead of time about the company as its, uh, its products and services. So as they are going to attempt to go ahead and get additional information from you, you want to go ahead and make sure you Google and try to get their values and the work dynamic. Now you want to approach the employer with respect, stress the contribution you can make to the company, have a list available of former employers, time and period of services. And of course, this is going to be for references. You want to make sure that you let your references know ahead of time, at least 48 hours, uh, that they'll be calling regarding a job you applied for. Now, you want to display your professionalism. Now, remember that employees should be capable, dependable, trainable, careful, and steady. Now, assume an air of confidence. Confidence is key. Uh, try to be optimistic in your attitude and maintain poise and self-control. You also want to try to overcome nervousness or shortness of breath. It helps to take a deep breath. So sometimes a moment of silence, closing your eyes, five seconds will help you get ready. And also know the importance of getting along with people. And let as many people as possible know you are job hunting. This will also help you with your social networking. Now give your best interview. You want to remain calm, of course. You also want to be positive, courteous, and respectful. Sit and walk with good posture. Smile. Make eye contact. Answer questions honestly and with great forwardness. And recognize your limitations. You also want to indicate your flexibility and readiness to learn. Now, the average time spent by recruiters looking at a resume, just to let you know the why I said a little earlier, it's about seven seconds. So it is important to impress your, interview, your interviewer because it's, uh, it's because not much time was spent reviewing your resume. So the first seven can make or break you. Now, don't talk yourself out of a job with statements such as stressing your, uh, your need for a job, apologizing for your age, looking untidy in appearance, displaying overconfidence, and displaying a negative, resentful, or hopeless attitude. Also being a know it or a person who cannot take instructions. And depending on your phone for your job contacts. Lastly, isolating yourself from contacts which might help you find a job, of course. So always try to keep contact in contact with previous colleagues of yours so they can help you become great references in for future. Now, ending an interview, you want to use the employer's name. You want to maintain eye contact, smile, thank the employer, shake hands. This would allow you to leave the lasting impression to this employer. So you want to leave your interview with the right picture of you. You come in with a positive attitude. You also leave with that positive attitude. Now, of course, we do have other webinars available. If you would be interested in signing up for more, you could always go to www.borderplexjobs.com. Once again, my name is George Gonzalez. I hope you have yourself a great day, and thank you for joining me today.